gentlemen, this is a new week and a new edition of What's Hot on Click TV Africa. First, I don't know if this is good news or not, but Ricardo Banks is no longer a member of Don Jazzy's Maven Records. He shared a lengthy emotional farewell message on social media, expressing his gratitude to Don Jazzy and his former co-label members, which makes him one of the few artists who have exited record labels without causing a world war. He has also started his own record label called Banks Music, yes. Ricardo had hits such as Catapult, Standard, Oluwani, Luku Luku and others. We really wish him the best and more bangers to his name. <laughs> We all know the beautiful song Birth Simi had her concert yesterday. The show was slated to start at 6 pm but didn't till 10 30. Fans and critics on Twitter went on and on about her lateness and also called out other artists who were fond of being late to their own shows. However, her rumored and alleged boyfriend Adekule Go took his Instagram and shared a cute video of her while she was prepping and also to support his girl. Oh, how really sweet. Now, guys, let's get to the messy bit. I like to call this next set of gist bands and shots because it's basically celebrity streaming shades and shots you know <laughs> US rapper designer had his sneakers stolen off of him during his performance in Kenya yes exactly he stopped the show and was yelling for his sneakers he was going all my sneakers my sneakers anyway let's check out this clip real quick Let's get to the messy bit. I like to call the next set of gist bands and shots because it's basically celebrity string shades. So over the weekend, there was a copious amount of events in Lagos, both religious and regular. And during one of the religious events, precisely the experience, Nigerian comedian Akpororo, during his comedic administrations, took shots at honor personality Daddy Freed. He said if he had the power, he would have turned Daddy Freed to a world gecko for telling people to stop being tight. Yeah. And if you know that he frees, you'd know he'd never ignore and let go. Never. He also replied like Boro in his usual lengthy post, flexing his grammatical prose and all. He didn't necessarily take direct shots at the comedian, but he did say Akwaro is uncultivated in spiritual matters. Hmm. While we were still suffering our dictionaries to understand some of the words in Daddy Freeze's response, then from nowhere, boom, Bovi, one of Nigerian's comedians, steps in real quick to give Daddy Freeze a quick piece of his mind. Bovi did not hold anything back. He took it personal and defended his fellow comedian with all he had, except that his accusations weren't quite correct. He accused the phrase of calling Akboro a pedophile when he in fact said Akboro's pedolalia. He has since apologized to the phrase though and everyone has moved on. Oof, that was, that was hot. <laughs> Superstar artist Davido threatened a music critic Ayo Jaguda. Yes, Davido released the visuals to his song Wonder Woman which featured his baby mamas and his girlfriend Shoma. The video has since garnered a million views in a day since its release. However, Ayo had a few opinions about the song. He tweeted, 1 million views already? Yesterday, it was 150,000 though. Hmm. After that, he said, song is trash. Video got fair replay value, but as he climbed 1 million views in 24 hours, they bust my head. Davido was definitely wasn't having, having any bit of it. And he threatened Ayo saying, if they burn you and your papa were in fact your mama, come Niger, bastard. Fuck it, come Africa, you go see. Ah, gang gang. Ayo then replies him saying, my personal opinion is what triggers you. You could have blocked me or said it a better way. You insulted my parents and threatened my life. I have months this and sent to my lawyers. And also we have the same passport. So if anything happens to me, it's on you. Hmm. Alright y'all, till another episode of What's Hot, it's bye for now.